thank you, Kathy. But the real thanks goes to Kathy Goldberg. Kathy Goldberg, Woo! back in February when the protests were just kicking off in Israel, she said, we need to have protests here, heard about unacceptable, and single-handedly for months organized these protests. Uh, Kathy deserves a great deal of uh, appreciation for all that she's done. When we were back here in February, there were very few of us, and it was cold. Kathy was the one who championed this cause. And we're so delighted, Ophir, to have you here and to support what's going on. And your leadership nationally and internationally is just absolutely incredible. So, thank you so much. And we got to go to the bookshop. As we've heard, we know what has happened this week. And the symbolism was not lost on the Jewish people. As Cancer Matan Betar said to us, that it happened during the week of Tisha B'Av, on the ninth day of Av, in which we commemorate the destruction of both the temples in Jerusalem and other terrible atrocities and things that happened to the Jewish people. When did this happen? The striking down of the reasonable law on Shisha B'Av, on the sixth day of Av. And it is a day that will go down in infamy for us, just like Tisha B'Av has been for our people for thousands of years. Now we know that Israel is a flawed democracy. We know that there's an ongoing military occupation of millions of Palestinians, and the 2018 nation state law also removed equality for parts of the Israeli population who are not Jewish. At the same time, we also know that Israel has a vibrant economy and expanding rights and opportunities for so many people. Israel, as we know and love it, is a complicated place. Sounds a little bit like the place we live here, right here in the United States. But yet we support Israel to become the best that it can be. As our flags say here, Hoshiba Seinu, that we should be free in our land. And how do we get free in our land? We can only be free when everybody is free. And when there is equality and justice and And at this time, there's been awakening of so many in Israel and around the world, and we are part of that awakening. On Tisha B'Av, I was privileged to participate in a session with Rabbi Jill Jacobs, who is one of the great rabbinic leaders of our day. She's the director of Truah, the Rabbinic Call for Human Rights. And today, and that, on that day, with Shani Brunot Lubatan, who is one of the leader of the protests in Israel, Rabbi Jacobs taught us this from the Talmud, from the Sechet Shabbat. In this part of the Talmud, they're trying to figure out why was the temple destroyed, the first and second temple destroyed, and there are many reasons that are given. But what is important here is a quote from Jeremiah that the rabbis bring, in which they say, I will light a fire in its gates and it will consume the palaces of Jerusalem and it will not be extinguished, is what Jeremiah prophecies about the destruction of the temple. And the Gemara Ha asks, what is the meaning of and it will not be extinguished? Rabbi Nachman Bar Yitzchak said, fire will break out at a time when people are not found to extinguish it. That the only way that this fire will be destructive is if there are no people to extinguish the fire. We are the ones to extinguish this destructive fire that is seeking to consume Israeli democracy. We are the ones to douse the movement to destroy the last vestiges of an independent judiciary. judiciary. We will do this together. Israelis and supporters across the globe will put out this consuming flame and build together true peace, security, equality for all who dwell in the land of Israel. We will not let this fire be consumed. We will not let this fire extinguish that which is good and true in Israel. We will build together a democracy, a liberal democracy, where there is freedom and justice for all. And now, as we have heard, our amazing Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky is here. I am I am honored to call Jan Schakowsky a dear friend and member of the congregation that I serve, Beth Emmett, the Free Synagogue. She is also the greatest champion for Israel in the United States House of Representatives. There is no greater champion for Israel in the House. Because you know what it means to be pro-Israel? It means you need to be pro-liberal democracy. 
policy. It means you need to be anti-occupation. It means you need to be justice for all. Anybody who is less than that is not pro-Israel. They are seeking to destroy Israel. Anybody else who is less than that. And Dan Schakowsky has been the front line, one of the first um, uh, people who was supported by J Street when it began in 20... Uh, 2009, and we are so, so proud of Jan. And as I said, there is no greater supporter of liberal uh, Israel, Israel that we want to see. And so it is my great honor and privilege, our wonderful Congresswoman, my friend, Jan Schakowsky.